All right, mate, how you doing? Welcome back to another episode of IMO. Manuel Pellegrini is the new West Ham manager. Yes, that's right. The former Real Madrid and Manchester City Premier League winning boss is in charge at West Ham. This is big news. Let's talk about what it means. So, Manuel Pellegrini is in charge at West Ham. Before we talk about this appointment, let's talk about the outgoing manager, David Moyes. Now, Moyes was brought in after Slavon Bilic was let go. We were in a relegation battle. It wasn't looking good. He was given a contract to the end of the season. And he was tasked with the mission of keeping West Ham up. Now, David Moyes did that. I'll be the first to say, when he was brought in, me and a lot of West Ham fans were not impressed by this appointment. It was very underwhelming. He'd just brought Sunderland down. It wasn't in keeping with the supposed ambition we had at West Ham. Most of us didn't want Moyes in. However, we cannot ignore the fact he's done a pretty decent job in keeping us up. And I think I'd be joined by a lot of West Ham fans in saying, we weren't really that against Moyes staying on by the end of the season. He seems like he deserved it. And if he'd been allowed to rebuild the club the way he wanted and get a little bit more say over transfers, I could have lived with him being given a couple year contract. Most West Ham fans will tell you the issue is perceived to be at board level, not so much at manager or player level. We need the board to start backing the manager by giving them money to spend and buy significant players to take us up a level and match the, the ambition that we've supposedly got as a club since moving to the new stadium. However, the West Ham board felt they didn't think Moyes was the right man for the job to lead us forward. They got rid of him. Okay, They did not give him a new contract after it expired at the end of the season. Now again, as much as I wouldn't have been against Moyes staying on. I also wasn't necessarily against him leaving as long as we brought someone decent in. There's always a risk with West Ham that we have these intentions, we make them clear and we say we're going to bring in a top quality manager and then we end up not getting our targets and we end up with Avram Grant. Okay, That's always a danger and that's what I was worried about. In fairness to the board, they've said they're going to get a proven top quality manager and they have got one in Pellegrini. The main names we were linked with were Pellegrini, uh, Rafa Benitez at Newcastle, another massive name, and Paolo Fonseca who is the Shakhtar Donetsk manager. These are all proven sort of Champions League quality managers. We've never really had a manager of that sort of ilk before. Now, whoever their top target is remains unknown. They were talking to Fonseca. I think they've been talking to Benitez. He was nearly became our manager years ago before he ended up going to Real Madrid. But they've got Pellegrini. I would have taken any of these three, to be honest. I like the fact that Pellegrini already knows the Premier League, something you can't say for Fonseca. Obviously speaks the language. He should fit in quite quickly. So the board deserve a little bit of credit for going out and uh, reaching one of their targets and getting that sort of level manager. However, if they don't trust him the way they need to for him to actually have an impact at our football club then it will just be a bit of a mistake they have to now give him the reins and give him the budget to buy some decent players this summer because someone like Pellegrini should be able to attract some half decent players some people have already said Yaya Torre could be someone that could be bought in. He's leaving Man City. He obviously spent a lot of time with Pellegrini and won the title of Pellegrini at Man City. Could he bring in some much needed experience to our club? Or would Pellegrini prefer some sort of youthful, pacey players, something that Yaya Torre doesn't really have anymore? The verdict's out on that one. Before we talk about any other future players, though, one thing we have to say about Pellegrini is he does remind me a lot of the Demon Headmaster. Do you remember the Demon Headmaster TV character? I used to watch it when I was a kid. You know what I'm talking about. Here's Pellegrini. Here's the Demon Headmaster. Separated at birth, clearly. If you watched the Demon Headmaster, you'd remember that he was this headmaster in charge of a school who had these like crazy powers that could like hypnotize people into doing what he wanted them to do. And he was basically a demon who was also a headmaster. <laughs> Let's hope Pellegrini has that same ability to convince some top quality players to come and play for West Ham and to convince the board to give him the freedom and the money to buy the players he wants. Forgetting the Yaya Torre sort of link, there's a couple of players I'd love Pellegrini to go after just to set the tone early in the transfer window. I've said this on Twitter, there's some relegated players who just left the Premier League I think we could go and get and really benefit from. For example, Joe Hart's going to be leaving, he's just finished his loan, I don't think we're going to renew that. If we wanted to go and get a keeper, although I do like Adrian, Jack Butland at Stoke would be a quality addition. Now I know there's going to be some big clubs in for Jack Butland, who's just uh, left, obviously, the Premier League and got relegated to the Championship. There's no way he's going to play in the Championship. He could be England's number one this summer. If he has a good World Cup, that's going to put his transfer value up even more and make even more big clubs come in for him. But if we can sneak an early bid in the window and try and get Jack Butland, that could be decent. 
Equally, Shakiri at Stoke could also be a good shout. Linking up with Arnautovic again. They used to play together at Stoke. Surely he's not going to stay there. He's also playing in the World Cup. Johnny Evans played for West Brom who got relegated. I think he's got a relegation release clause of like three million pounds. That is a bargain. We need more centre-backs. Let's go for him. Some people like Alfie Mawson at Swansea who also went down. I think he's going to be a bit more expensive. He's younger than Johnny Evans. If we can get in that Johnny Evans race, him and Butland would be unbelievable early signings. We definitely need a new striker. Arnie did really well up front and he could stay up front, but we haven't got a lot of depth in that area. I'm still not convinced by Andy Carroll's fitness. I think we could use a centre mid, a, a decent centre mid. I'd like to make Yao Mario's loan permanent. Because he was all right for us. I think if we can keep a player like him also playing in the World Cup for Portugal, it shows the way we want to go. Pellegrini has come out and said he's delighted to be at West Ham and he wants us to get to an international level. In fact, his exact words were, we hope to achieve all the goals we set and take the club to international competition. So Europa League, realistically, is what he's looking at. That means he wants to try and get us into the top seven of the Premier League. Burnley did it this year. If we make the right moves, we could do it. I'm certainly not going to be naive enough to predict us to finish that side of the Premier League next season because my last few predictions of West Ham have gone wrong. But surely, surely we've got to improve as a result of this appointment. Surely we can attract some new players, play more attacking, positive football and get a little bit higher, maybe into that top 10. Anything less than that is going to be a massive underachievement. Let's face it, Pellegrini was the Real Madrid manager. He won the league with Man City. He must have bigger ambitions than having West Ham in 10th, 11th, 9th place. The board must have made certain promises to him that makes him think he can get us up there into European competition. Or else why risk damaging his decent reputation? My only fear is that as Pellegrini's not that young anymore, he's 64 years old, he's just been managing in China, which is a little bit of a kind of money over ambition move. Is he kind of just wrapping up his career now and looking for some final paydays? Has he still got the hunger to really achieve as a football manager? I hope he does. But all in all, at the start of this summer, you have to say it's a great start for West Ham in terms of appointing Pellegrini. There was some bad news that came out last week though. James Collins, who's like a stalwart of West Ham, has been at the club in two different spells, was apparently released via email, which I think is shocking, to be honest. This guy not only deserves a testimonial, he deserves someone to tell him face to face. Whether it was because we're in between managers at the time, I don't know, but there's got to be someone at the club that can tell James Collins what's going on. And if we have released him, what a servant to the club he's been. Absolute legend. I had the uh, pleasure of doing a video with James Collins once. Very nice guy. And I wish him the best and I hope he finds a new club and I'm sure wherever he goes, he'll do very well. That's the problem with West Ham at the moment. Is like, you get a bit of good news, you get a bit of bad news. And we never seem to be too far away from a drama or something that kind of makes everyone feel a little bit let down. And if the club's not showing the, the right amount of class to deal with a, a club legend like that, then I think it's a real shame. However, hopefully moving into this Pellegrini era, we can start to clean our act up a bit, start doing things properly. We've become a little bit of a joke club in recent times with all the stuff happening on the pitch and the move to the new stadium, which people love, you know, taking the mick out of us for because we're so far away from the pitch and all that stuff. Look, like, we need to start performing on the pitch ultimately in order to get some respect back. And I believe Pellegrini is definitely capable of making us do that. But if it starts poorly, I tell you right now, if we have a few bad results to start the league, it will not take long for that atmosphere at the London and stadium to get potentially toxic again. So I just hope he can get the fans behind him, get some decent players in the summer, and get some wins under his belt. The fixture list, when that comes out, will be quite important. Because last year, we started with three away games, beginning with a 4-0 defeat to Manchester United, then we lost to Southampton, then we lost 3-0 to Newcastle, and it meant we were already in this kind of world of bad feelings. If we can start off with some home games, or more importantly, some easier fixtures to get some points on the board, the positivity might start flowing again. So, I'm happy with the Pellegrini appointment. I feel a bit sorry for Moyes, but we've definitely gone up a level in terms of manager. And I hope this is a sign of things to come, of us finally fulfilling our ambition that started with the move from Upton Park to the London Stadium. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Do you think Pellegrini was a good appointment? What do you think of the Unite Emery uh, appointment as the new Arsenal manager as well? Very interesting. Who do you think West Ham should go out and buy? Where do you think we'll finish next season? Drop a like on the video if you've enjoyed it. Subscribe for more. Make sure you click the notification bell so you always know when my new videos are going up. Lots of stuff from Russia for the World Cup 2018 coming. I'll see you next time. Until then, don't go change it.